Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2022-23 Topps Chrome UEFA Club Competition Soccer 12 box pick your team number 3 from jazbeescasebreaks.com All card ship um, and there was a combo team list but we did we ran a team random where we pulled those teams out we took all the 17 teams out plus the few remaining teams straight up and created a little filler there and made that happen. So if you have a little rooftop next to your name, that means you won that spot in that team random that we did. Double rooftops, that means you won an extra spot, then won a team. So all that on Monday the 3rd, July the 3rd, Independence Day Eve. There's everybody right there. So thank you everyone for getting in once again. And we've got them all alphabetized by team. On the right side, so there you go. So Taylor, you actually got last spot mojo with Arsenal before we pulled the remaining teams out. Uh, what else? Uh, I think the the main kind of key uh, player that we're looking for in this set, I believe, would be obviously Messi and Ronaldo and Erlen Holland. Julian Alvarez, I think, is one of the bigger chases here. Among others, but all cards ship. And it's probably worth, you know, whoever you get, probably worth looking them up. And, you know, seeing what kind of value they have. Club competitions, obviously, talking about all the three UEFA club competitions. The Champions League, that's the that's the old big ears, that's that's the one right there. Then the next tier down is UEFA Europa League, and then there's UEFA Europa Conference League. But they recently made the decision. UEFA did to take out Europa out of there. I guess it's confusing enough already, right? So now it's just UEFA Champions League, UEFA Europa League, and then UEFA Conference League. Although Conference League is also confusing because if you abbreviate that, that's UCL. Just like UEFA Champions League, if you're abbreviating that, right? A little confusing. They should have named it something different. Is that too many competitions? Three different European tournaments? Is that a lot? I mean, if you're like a if you're like a mid-table team that may not have deep pockets and your club has to go like I mean, maybe the experience itself is worth that. I don't know how much money Conference League is generating, right? But if they have to what if they have to go to like Eastern Europe and there's just like some, some small football club in, I don't know, where in, like, in the Midlands. We're a mid-table Scottish Premier League team. What if you're, uh, what if you're, what if you're Hearts? And you end up in here, I mean, how much money is being spent on traveling. Don't know. Has anyone tried this uh, Domino's Pizza feature where you just drop a pin and they'll go right to that location? Seems interesting. So if I was at the beach
And I'm like, hmm, I'm pretty hungry. But I'm also pretty comfortable at the beach. Maybe... You know, could, I, could that pizza person walk it all over, all the way to the beach? There's a uh, Carney, Chukwu, and Mecca for Chelsea. That will be for Jacob. They're doing that at, at the Ashes in the UK. In the stadium, they're going to walk it right to you? There's Olivier Giroud, Gundogan, and for Leipzig, there's uh, Kunku, in Kunku, 138 out of 150. Uh, and that will be for Chris Parent and Leipzig. And we're looking at, we're looking for one autograph per box on average. And there's Samuel Ealing Jr. for Juve. And it'll go to David B. and Juventus. A little happy face right there, too. And we'll do an autograph recap at the end of this as well. Yeah, I like the rookie card badge that they attach to these cards. So worth looking some of those players up, maybe holding on to them, seeing if they emerge as future stars, like Julian Alvarez. Which will go to Man City, that's gonna be for Rob. Here's uh, Tammy Abraham for Roma. That's gonna go to... Good. It's going to go to Brian. I thought that might have been number. It looked like that gold background, but maybe not. And we've got Aqua Wave. Andres. Sh Andreas, I'm going to try this. Shageldrup? Shageldrup. Shagel... Shagel... Durup. Shagel Durup? 184 out of 199. For Benfica. That'll be for Alan. I, I gave it my... I gave, I gave it my best... Gave it my best shot here. They can't all be Declan Rice. You know what I mean? And there's Patrick Wallemark, 144 out of 175 for Feyenoord. That'll be for uh, for Grant. All right, box one. Nice. Frank says those PSA 10K Cunningham Lamello rookies I pulled for Frank the other night arrived safe and sound. I love it. Starting a collection of PSA 10 NBA rookies. Thanks to Jaspies. You're welcome. Thank you for getting in, Frank. Can't win if you don't play. You play, you got rewarded, and that's a, actually that's a worthy journey to go on, getting a portfolio of, uh, of PSA 10s in your hobby portfolio. Believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, is, is, is preseason happening, especially for the English clubs, right? I think I think Liverpool are in Germany. Maybe in a week or so they're starting preseason. I think if if anybody's away on international duty, I think they're kind of come back a little bit later. Oh yeah, sure. For you, Grant, sure. So 
What's that garnacho? Oh, there's that garnacho. Even though he's a dirty, dirty mank. I'll do that for you. For you, Grant, not for Garnacho. As a Liverpool supporter, I'm doing it for you though, Grant. Not for that. Uh, according to sources, uh, Christian Pulisic to reject Lyon and wants a Milan move instead. Arsenal edge closer to signing Timber. City readying for a bid for Leipzig's uh, Gavardiol. Is Leipzig going to have any players left on that team? Steven Gerrard going to be coaching in uh, Saudi Arabia. After originally saying he wasn't. I think he was waiting for Premier League jobs. I don't think he's getting those Premier League jobs. Uh, Atletico closing in on a Aspilicueta deal. Uh, United States, we, uh, we, we trounced Trinidad and Tobago to win Gold Cup Group A. Apparently, the Messi to Miami talks took three years, according to the owners. And Newcastle signing Tonali from Milan on a five-year deal. I suppose Newcastle has deep pockets now. There's an article saying um, why Arsenal are betting big on Kai Havertz and Declan Rice for next season. Some good, some good moves for them. In my club, Liverpool, signing, uh, I'm not going to say, Zoba Salai, the Hungarian international. I think he might have some cards in here in his Leipzig gear. So I think Liverpool doing some good business. Might, might need another center back, maybe. Not sure what else they could, they need. They definitely needed to uh, improve that midfield, refresh that midfield, which they did. Here is Paul Nedved for Juventus. I'm gonna go to David B. Midfield that they should have refreshed last summer, but better late than never. And I think some of the Liverpool youngsters like Harvey Elliott and Curtis Jones really took some, some strong steps forward, which I like. There's Darwin Nunez. He'll be in his second full season. That should be good for him as well. 177 out of 225. Uh, who's got my club? Liverpool. Matthew does. And Erling Hollins. All of these will go to Rob and City. Does Harry Kane stay? Or does he go? There's another Colazzo Garnacho for Man United. That'll be for Grant. Hobby Master is a case hit? the hobby master Musaila for Byron Munchen Brian has Bayern Munich the Baraghi goes to Fiorentina that's gonna go to Grant who won that team in the filler nice thank you Robert point that out Santiago Jimenez for fine route to 50 
So those rookie silvers can take care of here as well. Frankfurt. Gold is always nice. Numbers are always nice. That's the 250. Benfica. Allen. We'll get the Morera Jr. All right, next box. Uh, ESPN2 showing, showing cornhole. Surely there's something else on TV other than this. Maybe uh, some baseball, some regional coverage. I got St. Louis at Miami tied at two. All right, another box. When, what's going on? Where, where, when are the next stages of the, uh, I see. All right, so I guess there's still some, there's still some uh, group action happening in the Gold Cup. We still need to see group C and D finish up before we see the quarterfinals, which start on uh, July 8th in Arlington, and then July 9th in Cincinnati. Ooh, I think I'm on the other side of that, Duncan. I think I'm on the Cardinal side of that game. So Jamaica's through. To the quarterfinals in the Copa de Oro, the Gold Cup. Mexico is through. So Jamaica is waiting on the winner of Group D. Mexico is waiting on the runners up of Group C. United States waiting on the runners up of Group D. And Qatar is in, in this as well. They are awaiting the winners of Group C. Semifinals are in Vegas and San Diego. And the final is here in LA at SoFi. July 16th, what day is that? Is that an off day for me? I don't know how much tickets to, the, uh, to a Gold Cup final will be. All right. Next box, there's another refractor Garnacho for Man United. It's Carvalho for Liverpool and there's Fabio Blanco, rookie auto for Barcelona. It's gonna to go to Grant. Got some shimmer going on here. It is, it is Casemiro, 272 out of 399 for Man United. That's going to go to Grant. There's Mohamed Darme to 150 for Copenhagen. And 
it'll be for Alan Murdoch. Future stars, Pierre Kalulu for AC Milan, 12 out of 75. You know what's cool about these cards? These are, uh, these cards are manufactured in Italy. So there's the card stock has a has a different feel to it than other chrome cards, which is pretty cool. Feels like almost a better quality even, maybe it's just a tiny bit thicker. 152 out of 175, Pedri for Barcelona. And I think the number stamping is a little different as well. Another box. Was that Gold Wonder Kids number? Or are you just saying Gold Wonder Kids? Aha, uh -huh. good eye. Got it. Forty out of fifty for Real Sociedad. It is indeed gold. Chris Parent. All right. Next box. Even the, even the packs feel a little, a little different as well. All right, next box, good luck. There's Allison to 175 for the Liverpool. Pablo Marin for Real Sociedad. I think those, those pulsars or whatever tops call them, I think are not numbered. Matthew has Liverpool. And we've got a Jorginho. Black ink autograph. Goes to uh, Jacob and Chelsea. Blue autograph, 7 out of 75. Nice little color match.
And for PSG, we got Warren Zaire Emery, 53 out of 199. Paris Saint Germain, that'll be for Aaron. Picked up PSG straight up. Garnacho. Akpo, Kimmich, and uh, Nuno Mendes, future stars. 24 out of 50. Gold uh, mini diamonds pattern. For Paris Saint Germain, that's for Aaron. We've got some purple. Sadio Mane, Bayern Munich. Missed that guy. Wish he would have uh, stayed with Liverpool. And we got a Pedro Gonçalves to 52, 1952, with the uh, tops sort of step and repeat pattern in the back. That's for sporting. It's going to go to Grant. Another box. Women's World Cup happening at some point in July, July 20th. That'll be some fun international competition to watch. The timing might be a little, I think timing might be it's in Australia, New Zealand. I think timing might be okay, at least for me on the West Coast. I feel like I'll be able to catch some matches. So I, I finish up at around 11 o'clock Pacific. And by the time I get home, there might be a match or two to watch. Sort of Australian Open kind of tennis schedule. Waiting for preseason stuff to start in soccer, all that good stuff. Good time to get into this sort of stuff, ladies and gentlemen. So, especially with an active transfer window and then preseason matches about to start, and before you know it, a lot of the European leagues will be starting back up again. There's only two finals in baseball today. Brewers beat the Cubs 8-6. Brewers scoring a couple runs in the bottom of the eighth to take that lead. And then Chaz McCormick puts the Astros up with a late RBI double. They beat the Rangers 12-11. to Hope everyone had the over on that. Got Harry Kane, 109 out of 250. Where is he going to be playing? Is he going to be... Can he go somewhere? He's gonna stay at Tottenham, maybe. There's been some speculation about him moving on elsewhere. And for Bayern Munich, we got Paul Wehner. That'll be for Brian. And Byron.
Marco Royce, 280 out of 399 for Borussia Dortmund. And we'll go to Robert from Dortmund. Julian Alvarez, Wonder Kids from Man City. That'll go to Rob. And we got an orange James Reese. Oh, not numbered, but looks cool. Chelsea. That'll be for Andrew. Ibrahimovic. Pablo Berrios for Atletico Madrid. Refractor. Old Gary Lineker. All right, another box. luck everybody after this box right here we'll be halfway through the break let's see what games do we have what baseball games do we have in progress Reds are leading the Nats 3-2 top of the seventh Cardinals are leading the Marlins 3-2 top of the seventh Uh, Orioles are leading the Yankees 3-0, top of the fifth. In the bottom of the fifth, Braves are currently shutting out the Guardians 4-0. And in the bottom of the first, Royals uh, have jumped out to a 1-0 lead against the Twins in Minnesota. Like the Royals are feeling revitalized after beating up on my Dodgers. <laughs> yeah, have they been playing some good baseball lately? Yeah, better, better than the, I mean. Last 10, they're about five and five, two game winning streak and leading in this game. Starting to turn things around. That's good for the hobby, especially if Bobby Wood Jr. starts, starts making some more noise. Playing more competitive baseball, that's a good thing. All right. We got Ali Doe for Frankfurt, rookie silver, rookie refractor. And we got an Erlen Holland. We got a Rodrigo to 175 for Sporting. Ribeiro, that will be for Grant. Here's a Marquinhos for Arsenal. Rookie Silver. Taylor. Kubo to 399 for Real Sociedad. Chris Parent. We've got a Wonder Kids Garnacho.
And our auto is for Celtic. That's Kyogo Furuhashi. For Andrew and Celtic, who won that team in the team random that we did. 154 out of 199. So it's, this is basically a pick your team break with a, with a random team inside, baked inside. Phil Foden. We got a Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Blue Lava, which is not numbered. Well, I feel as if it should be, though. That's still nice. AC Milan, that'll be for David B. We got Alido to 150 for Frankfurt. It'll be for Evan. All right, we are halfway through this full 12 box case break. Onwards, next half, about another 30 minutes or so to go. Gilo, what's going on? Ladies and gentlemen, it's a good time to look at the standings while I'm ripping open these packs. In Major League Baseball, no standings yet for soccer. So we'll go off topic a little bit, but we're pretty much at the halfway point, right? I think most teams are, are a little over the 82 or the 81 game mark. I think we're at 85-ish games or something like that, so... Tampa Bay Rays are leading the AL East. They're leading the Orioles by five and a half games. They've got a pretty impressive plus 157 run differential. That's the next closest would be the Rangers at plus 155 and the Braves at plus 139. No one else is above 100. The Yankees are nine and a half games back. I mean, they, are they thinking wild card potentially? That's a tough division. The Yankees have 46 wins and they're nine and a half game nine and a half games back. 46 wins would put them on top of the Central, and we'll put them at about second place in the AL West. First place in the NL East. No, not first place in the NL East. AL Central is a little uh, is a little rough. Twins are under 500, as are the Guardians, and they're tied for first. Tigers are four games back. White Sox five and a half games back. I mean, they might still be in striking distance. And in the West, the Rangers are up on the Astros about three games. Rangers are playing good baseball. Angels are in third followed by the Mariners. Watching some summer league, didn't realize the Lakers signed a guy out of Missouri. Who, who is that guy? There's Thomas Muller, 399. It's for Bayern Munich, that'll go to Brian. There's Mo Salah. Just delete the AL Central? I mean, they might. And we got a Bruno Fernandez, 65 out of 225. Ray Wave. Sort of, sort of a photo negative ish Ray Wave. I'm not sure exactly what they call it, but Grant with Man United. There you go. Get all those Garnachos as well. Des Moines Hodge. No, I, don't, I have no idea who that is. Must be a uh, one of those undrafted free agents, maybe fill out a summer league squad kind of guy. Uh, we 
We've got Julian Alvarez for Man City. That'll be for Rob. And Bruno Iglesias for Real Madrid. Rookie card. And there's the autograph. Matthias Sole. Sole for Juve. And I'll go to David B. 58 out of 99. Andrade, you think Wemby's going to play on Wednesday? And next case is sold out. Nice. We'll do that after after the break. I see a lot of orders. I wonder if something else sold out before that. We'll see. And we got a Joshua Kimmich. Orange Lava for Bayern Munich. Then we got a Marcus Rashford. Got the purple yellow for Man United. Do you know, Gilo, do you, what do your sources say about Wemby playing on Friday? Is he going to play on Friday? Robert's like, man, I can't buy a hit. Thankfully, Robert, we have one, two, three, four. We have almost a whole half case left. Thankfully, we've got many boxes to go. Thankfully, this was not a half case break. Then it would be sad times. But we've got a whole other half, which is awesome news. You read he was playing all the Vegas games. It's good. I will be uh, I will be there on Friday to watch him play. I'll try to get a picture next to him. What what's his listed height again? Seven three. <laughs> it's unfair to unfair to Joe's. James asked, "Will I have more UEFA club competition cases coming?" No, that was it. There's a uh, Benjamin Sesco, 34 out of 399. Although it's possible we may get more, but we don't have any more to post at the moment. I wouldn't mind seeing some more though. Cool. I guess we'll set a, uh, a s refractor Jude Bellingham aside. Is he official to Real Madrid? I th maybe? I think so. There's Erlen Holland from Man City. And we've got Fabio Blanco, 53, uh, 53? yeah, out of 250. Some pink shimmer action happening there. You know, messy insert.
kind of crazy. I don't think a, there's a there's this rookie right here for Sporting for Grant Isahaku Fatou. I think I nailed it. But I was gonna say it's kind of until I see him on like TV in an Inter Miami shirt. Just, just weird thinking that Lionel Messi is going to be playing here in the United States. So go to PSG, go to Aaron. It's kind of wild to think about. It's Christian Eriksen. Player of his stature. Kind of roaming around, roaming around uh, these hallowed MLS stadiums. Christian Eriksen to 199 for Grant and Man United. What, this guy sounds like a, a Star Wars character name? Could be. What do, you, what do you think Fatawu would be, Chilo? You think he is that the is that the name of a hero, a villain, TBD, maybe a a spice smuggler, or a, or maybe a mayor of a town. How long is Messi slated to be here? I don't know. I mean, I actually don't think... Has he even been unveiled yet? According to just a quick Google, according to CNN, Lionel Messi's Inter Miami contract worth between 50 to 60 million dollars per year, according to club's part owner. 50 to 60 million dollars a year. The lower of those figures would make Messi the highest paid player in Major League Soccer by over 40 million, according to sports salary tracker Spotrack. Spotrack? How do you say that? Spot rack or spo track? According to that site, Jordan Shakiri currently earns the most in the league with an annual wage of $8.1 million. Messi's potential on pitch earnings are outstriped, outstripped by those of his longtime rival, Cristiano Ronaldo, who has a $75 million playing salary after moving to Saudi Arabia team Al Nasser. Corner Forbes. You you say the T twice? Spot track? Hmm. Mas confirmed to El uh, Baiz that the 35-year-old's wage will be supplemented by the guarantee of being part of the club's ownership once he retires, as well as a cut of the profits from MLS's broadcasting deal with Apple TV and the team's kit sales from Adidas. Man, he's got, he's got the fingers, his hands in a lot of pockets, a lot of MLS pockets. I'm trying to see how long this deal is. I don't see how long this deal is. It must be a number of years. Has to be a few years, at least.
But according to the CNN article, Messi is reportedly due to make his debut for the club on July 21st against Mexican side Cruz Azul. There's Allison Becker. Pablo Marin for Real Sociedad. How can you live on that type of money? I think cost of living is more is more expensive in the United States than it is wherever he lives now. Argentina? There's Rodrigo Ribeiro, Sporting, Grant. Cristiano needs to, I mean, that would be nice, but he chose, to, he chose to play in Saudi Arabia for a lot more money. It's Marcus Rashford to 399. Although I wonder, I mean, if Sadio Mane as well to 250 for Bayern Munich. That'll be for Brian. Marcus Rashford for Grant. And uh, Matthias Sole for Juventus. Rookie refractor. Though I wonder if Messi is getting paid 50, 60 million dollars a year, but he's getting a cut of all these um, of, of shirt sales, of the of the broad of the uh, broadcasting rights, if he's getting cut of that and part ownership of a team, is that going to be more than the Ronaldo deal at the end of the day? I mean, maybe maybe Cristiano has, you know, has like a stake in in his in, in the in the Saudi team, but I mean, I don't know if they're broadcasting. I'm not sure if they've been able to sell their broadcasting rights for as much as MLS or how many kids around the world are buying Al Nasser shirts with Cristiano Ronaldo on the backs of those. Yeah, I think I mean I think you're right, Frank. Looks like looks like Lionel Messi is bullish on MLS. Now, not surprisingly, according to the article, the owners, again, not surprisingly, are bullish about the league's potential for growth following Messi's uh, arrival, with Mas stating in the El País interview that the World Cup winning captain's arrival will, quote, elevate the league to another level into one of the two or three best leagues in the world. Ah, okay. I no one had mentioned. I was curious. I did not know how many years. I said I assume if at least a few years. Duncan is saying the messy deal is for three years. Although I'm sure he can play for a little bit more than that. Jan saying sounds like Messi didn't want to play in Saudi Arabia because of political reasons and the money. Yeah, I think that's I think that's probably the case for most people. Yeah, that's I saw that too. That's crazy that they've been working on this deal for for 3 years. All right, we got some Giovanni Reina. Nice. 5 out of 25. Borussia Dortmund. That's going to go to Robert I like that kid. Maybe we're getting closer to a, a proper hit.
And we've got a uh, Jamal Musa. We got the same player. We got a. Didn't we have. No, maybe I'm thinking of something else. That wasn't the case. I think this is another kind of one per case ish or super short print deal or something like that. The Joga Bonito. A lava pattern in the background. Nice one for Bayern Munich. Brian. Or an Hans specimen. And Hugo Eki TK for PSG. I don't think there's. Uh, well, there might be, but I don't know. Uh, you know, for obvious reasons, I don't know if I don't know if uh, messy autos are going to be terribly common in this set, if any. And we got a Weston McKinney for Juventus. Are there any Ted Lasso sets out there, Frank is asking? 30 out of 50. Yeah, maybe a Jamie Tart or a Roy Kent autograph would be pretty cool. Um, I don't, I don't know if they'd make a proper set of that, but I feel like they could make it a special insert set in a maybe a Topps Chrome Premier League product or something like that. That'd be pretty cool. Come on, make make it happen, Topps. Uh, we got Rafael Liao, 64 out of 225 for AC Milan, David B. And Sadio Mane. Two boxes to go. Who do I think is going to win between the Buccos and them bums? Mm. Oh, who's, on the, who's on the mound? Also, I think MLB TV is free today. Let, let, let freedom ring, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, I see. I got, we got Mitch Keller squaring off against Michael Grove. I think it's gonna be I say that the Pirates will win tonight, as much as I don't like that. I also don't like the Marlins coming back, scoring three runs here. They're leading the Cardinals 5-4. I have financial interest in the Cardinals. Although the Dodgers are heavy favorites, I'm not confident about their bullpen. Maybe the home cooking is going to help. They're back home. But Mitch Keller's been having a pretty nice season. Michael Grove has, has struggled in his starts. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's mostly because of Michael Grove and a shaky bullpen. John says LA by four. Well, then John would be interested in uh, the run line, minus one and a half at plus 120. And it's all also Mitch Mitch Kell on the other side, not only just Grove winless, but Mitch Keller on the other side has been pitching relatively well for the Pirates. Special delivery. Whoa! What did I get? I don't know. I forgot. Maybe this is what happens when when adult beverages and eBay combine. Oh, I know what it is. It's a record for my, my turntables. Nice. Uh, remember, uh, remember Glenn Miller of the Glenn Miller Band? No. And, uh, and that hit song, In the Mood? 
Do 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 Federico Kesa, 001 out of 175. Chance to give a support, I'm going to say 8. Run total 8.5 and minus 80. I've I'm looking at Bet Online. They've got uh, the Dodgers at minus 165. There's a nice uh, Gabriel Martinelli, 009 out of 150 for Taylor and Arsenal. We got Gavi, Lava Pulisic, who wants to play in Italy, I guess. Denied Leon. He doesn't want to go to France. Here's Iqbal oh, to 199. Why did why didn't he should just come to to MLS? And then, you know, battle yeah, just battle against Messi, just dominate. Put in it with AC Milan. Hey, Rafael Leao. It's true. We got uh, Zob Zoboslai. 24 out of 225. Recently signed with Liverpool. Conquer the footsteps of one's Zlatan. Oh, right. The godlike status of Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Here's out of 125, Luka Susic. <laughs> right, can't forget about the other Glenn Miller hit there. Pennsylvania, six, six, five hundred also back on that. Here's Danny Olmo for Leipzig. That's going to be for Chris Parent. It's to one, 114 out of 150. Ah, classic. The Andrew sisters don't sit under the apple tree with anyone else but me. It's Julian Alvarez. Some classics. Some classics there. What's everyone's uh, what's everyone's adult beverage plus eBay purchase? Whatever happened? Something arrived in the mail a week later, and you're like, oh yeah, that's right, I did get I did order that. All right, we made it, folks. Final box coming up. Appreciate everybody getting in. We got another case coming up. After this break, I'm going to go through some orders. i um, going to take a quick little break and refuel, and then we'll be back to uh, do some more breaks. I think someone mentioned another case of this that sold out, so... We'll work through another uh, another case. Mm. John says uh, rum and coke got you a knife collection. That's good. Was it a good knife collection? 
Is this a vintage knife collection? Is a maybe current knife collection? Modern knife collection? Is a kitchen knives? Hunting knives? An assortment of knives? Different blades, different lengths. You gotta have an assortment. We've got Isak Bergman Johansson, 181 out of 250. Copenhagen. It's going to go to Allen. Ah, for all occasions. All right, you gotta, you gotta have. You never know when. Uh, you know, you never know when you're gonna need a knife at any occasion. The Bukayo Saka, the three ninety nine, nice for Arsenal. Taylor. And our final autograph is for Frankfurt. That's Ansgar, Ansgar Knopf. And that's Evan who won that team in that team random. We got an Aqua Patrick Schick to 199 for uh, Bayer Leverkusen. It'll be for Eric with Leverkusen. Let's see what else we have to close things out. We got a Barrios, Pablo Barrios for Real Madrid. Darwin Nunez. We got a Vinny Jr. refractor and Gabriel Jesus for Arsenal. Vinny for Real Madrid. And that, my friends, is your break. And here's a quick recap of the autos, among other things. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. And I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.